suppose the point is getting the drone up in the air and seeing what it can do in a sort of more realistic setting. So we've got some different types of terrain here. We've got scree banks, we've got marshland, uneven ground. So see what the drone can do. See if it can find a casualty like this that wants to be found, waving at the aircraft, and then we can bring the team on in to come and treat them. Just a bit of experience for the pilots, really. And as you can see, we are back on track. Drones are in the air, splitting two teams, and they found the missing person, the dummy. So, great stuff. I think it's uh, using technology that's available uh, to advance the team a little bit further and I find it quite interesting that we can adapt this technology to be used in the team to, to help us help us forward so I find all that quite interesting and uh, therefore quite interesting being involved in it as well. From today we're going to go live with our drones, they're going to be operational on the vehicles, go into every job we go to and aim to get them in the air at every job we go to. Drones are quite a new technology so we're really careful not to uh, upset anybody or cause any upset using our drones on people's land without permission so at the moment we're doing quite a big piece of work trying to speak to as many landowners as possible to make sure we've got permission to launch our drones um, when we're out at incidents but also training the more varied land we can use the better if you do have any land if you're a, a farmer or you know of a farmer or you work in a company that has uh, control of some land and you're willing to let us use it for training we'd be really willing to hear from you um, and obviously we can go through all our risk assessments and insurances that we've got in place with you um, to put your mind at ease but yeah any land that we can use for drone training very much appreciated. Yeah.